Hi there, museum friends and families. It's Miss Teal from the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum of Escondido, California. I'm here today with the nature talk about the area that we live in close to Escondido. San Diego County is a very rare place in the United States. It has what we call biodiversity. We have separate climates and environments for animals and people and plants to live in from our coastline to our deserts behind me. I'm in what we call the back country. These are the hills that run up to the mountains in front of the Anza Borrego Desert. We're going to be talking today about how animals, people, and plants have lived here for thousands of years and have formed partnerships that I call nature's wisdom. Now, this is a beautiful place, but unless you learn things along the way, you're not going to survive here very long. We don't have a lot of rainfall. It only rains in the winter here. So how do plants, animals, and people form these relationships that help them survive in our environment? Well, one of the big helpers in Mother Nature comes from the long history of the live oak tree. San Diego County has 10 different types of live oaks. Now, live oak means that the leaves stay on the tree all year long. And in this case, these beautiful trees, which can grow to be about 50 feet tall, this one's a baby, not too much older than some of you children. It probably came up after one of our fires. That's another thing we'll talk about in just a second. The leaves on this live oak tree form little cups. And because we tend to get fog and cool mist that roll down from the waters of the ocean, these little cups on these trees capture that water during the summertime and help give these trees enough moisture to survive. Now behind me is a water source. I hope you can hear the creek. Creeks are streams of water that come down from the mountains from larger water sources, in this case the San Diego River. Now this little stream has seen a lot of animals, plants, and people over tens of thousands of years. The first people that lived here, I'm going to call them the native people of San Diego County, form a large band of peoples we call the Kumeyaay tribe. The Kumeyaay were very wise. They use things like the live oak as a food source. In the fall, this little tree will have acorns. Acorns are a type of seed. The kumiai would gather the seeds and then through a lot of hard work, make it into a type of food, a lot like our oatmeal. Just because you have a partnership with Mother Nature doesn't mean that it's necessarily an easy one. After gathering the acorns from the live oak trees in the fall, the kumiai would bring them to these moteras, which are carved out of granite boulders, usually found close by to a stream like we just saw. The water was part of the process of grinding the acorns and 
they had to go through quite a few steps to get it to the point where people could actually eat this as food. It was a lot of work to be kumiai, and it was nature's wisdom that helped them survive in the back country of San Diego. The kumiai were not the only ones taking advantage of the live oak tree's generosity. In fact, even today, birds like scrub jays and woodpeckers harvest the acorns that they find around the live oak in the fall. Then they drill these little holes inside the spongy bark of the tree and then push the acorns inside. When the winter time, when there's not much to eat, they will come back and pull the acorns out of these holes. It's kind of like your kitchen pantry. This is another example of Mother Nature's partnership and wisdom with plants, animals, and people. Shh. Under the shade of old oak trees down by the stream where the dragonfly dances and the bunnies drink, a wild mustard plant happily provides a bed for a sleepy ladybug who has eaten all the aphids off her pretty stem. Giving as well as taking from one another is all a part of Mother Nature's plan. The wisdom comes from understanding that we need to take care of one another to do well ourselves. For more online activities from the San Diego Children's Discovery Museum, go to www.stcdm.org. We'll see you next time for another Nature Talk.